So, a uh, trans man, a woman who transitioned to being a man, made a TikTok video about how hard it is for him now as a man going from being a woman to being a man. Talking about how lonely it is and literally cr crying on the internet about it. So, let's see what happened. Let's see what they had to say. What's wrong? What is it? Oh, I love being a woman. Nobody told me how lonely being a man is i had closer friendships with random women i met in the bathroom before i transitioned at clubs because of how open women are than i've had in my eight years of transitioning that is true interactions between us men we don't trust each other you know what i'm saying like i don't trust if i nod at you and you don't nod back automatic i don't trust you off top i don't know what's going on you might be possessed by a demon i don't with you go away I nod at you and you will nod back. Holy water, all tight and get away from me. Facts. Get away from me, stay away from me. Don't look at me. Facts. So us men, we perceive one another as threats. Society perceives you as a threat. It's definitely harder to interact socially as a man. Because women are just so much more vulnerable and deep than men. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. <laughs> and to have people want to talk to us. And to have a community. And then you Hey, we know what depth feels like as men. We don't experience it often. I've had some pretty deep and you know, serious conversations before as a young man. It's not often though, I will say that. But yeah, men definitely do. We do lack community. We definitely do lack that feeling of belonging somewhere. You know, being a man is like traversing through some big ass fucking forest full of trees with just nobody for miles. Like you see people, but they just you can't touch them. They just you, your hand goes through them. It's it's very weird. It's a very, a very weird experience. You transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And people are colder. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. See, but automatically, this is my problem, bro. We got to be able to address everyone's problems without, like, trying to placate to people. If you're a cis white man, it's okay to talk about whatever issues come with being a cis white man. Please, can we please start ignoring crazy people? Can we go back to, like, 2005, 2007, 2008, where we just knew a nigga was crazy or a person was crazy, we just didn't entertain it? Talk about your struggles, no matter what you are. Be you a cis white male, cis, can't even believe we're saying cis. Biological white male, biological black male. If whatever you are, we need to make it, bro, it's 2023 and we holding these kind of grudges against people. You're a cis white male. That's a human being. <laughs> That's an individual person. You don't know that person. You don't know their, their sins. They're, 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 you don't know, you don't know their you don't know their blessings they've given to other people. You don't know this person. You're just going to automatically in get mad at them. Well, you're a cis white male. Why are you complaining? This world is full. The fact that he even, like, had to say that just goes to show how vitriolic we are today on the internet. Like, and he's low-key invalidating his own feelings because you feel the need to placate some people that this video isn't even about. F fuck them. Don't worry about what they got to say. It ain't about them. They got they shine. It's, it's Pride Month. Who cares? But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Because this shit is lonely. And I'm an emotionally mature man. I know how to build friendships. And it is still really, really hard. Try to think about how you can, in your small little community where you feel safe, can reach out to the men in your life and just help them them feel maybe seen for a moment or do do little little conversations to help their emotional maturity so that they can reach out to people and have deeper guy friendship i mean here's the thing right they need to start talking to a lot of these like tr trans people in general but definitely as it pertains to like the psychological effects of going from 
male from female to male that needs to be spoken about to people because i don't think a lot of chicks understand it is not the same going from being a woman to a man obviously but in in terms of social life in terms of being invited to stuff having a social life being around people it's non-existent it is non-existent i'm telling you right now a lot of people don't want to hear this but they need to communicate to Women looking to transition to being a male, not only are you going to have to deal with the psychological ramifications of changing your body permanently, you also need to understand that you are moving toward a life that is going to be lonelier, more confusing, just dark. Like you're going from, you're literally going from the light to the darkness. I literally don't know any other way to like describe it. I don't, I've never been a woman, but I, I can, when it comes to social interactions and social life, I've seen my female friends have more outings with their friends in a month than I've seen my guy friends have in an entire year. I'm just telling you, these females post, oh, this is my February dump, this is my March dump, and it's them hanging out here, going there, doing this, doing that. I'm hanging out here. When, my, when I see my boys post, bro, it's lonely shit. It's not, they're not hanging out with the guys. I very rarely ever see these dudes hang out. And everybody posts everything. Of course, men post less than women, but when it comes to social interactions, guys usually post. Why? Because it's so rare. It's so rare. And, uh, you know, it's important that we communicate this to people who are going to transition. Like, yo, like when you go from being a woman to a man, not only are you going to have to cope with the permanent changes you've made to your body, but when you're not being invited to stuff and your social life is non-existent and you're not getting likes and you're not getting followers because this stuff matters to people and your social life has completely exploded in front of you and you're having a hard time, you know, meeting people and interacting with people and blah, blah, blah. When that happens, you, <laughs> you are going to have a really hard time adapting, a really hard time. This, this guy, this, this trans guy is crying crying on camera now that's like that's like rule number one of the internet never cry on camera and he's breaking that rule because he's so emotionally damaged now here's another perspective i want to give to it he did in the video point out the fact that we as men should probably start communicating to one another more the suicide rate amongst men is high uh the deletion the self-deletion rate amongst men is high and it's important for men to be able to talk to one another to communicate with one another obviously we're not as vulnerable as women but I do think that we as men need to be able to talk to one another about things in life without having, because obviously we don't feel comfortable just breaking down in front of each other. But we need to be able to, you know, in a manly way, you know, like, yo, what's going on with you? You know, oh, where, you know, what's up? What, what can I do? You know, just, you know, straightforward down the line communication of what's going on in our lives and try to find a solution for one another and talk it out. We definitely need to do that. And I, I think it's interesting that it took a trans man, a, a person who was a woman that went to being a man to point this out to us and say, yo, like, y'all need to talk to one another more because life for y'all is infinitely harder socially and mentally than, than it is for women. Y'all need to talk to each other, you know? Like, let's go, let's, let's look at this video again at the beginning, right? These girls seem to be hanging out at the bar. It looks like they're hanging out at the bar or a club or something, right? That level of social interaction amongst us guys, it just doesn't happen. I don't know why we don't hang out like that. I don't know what we be. I don't know what we're so so up to that's so important. Probably gaming and watching watching. You know what? But um, you know this kind of stuff isn't. It's not often that us men experience this stuff. It's just true. This is not. This is not a, a normal weekend for men. Most guys are lonely. Most guys are not hanging out like that. Most of the time, we're not linking up like that. It's just the truth. And maybe we need to start linking up more. Maybe we need to start hanging out more as men. Maybe we need to start, you know, forming memories of one another and hanging out and doing shit. Because life goes by. Life is going by. But this kind of and this kind of stuff is not normal for the average man. It's not. It's just not. So, you know, I want to look at the comments and, and assess the situation. Because I think it's really nice that it took a... Like, this video gave me a different perspective. You know, a trans woman saying, yo, like, it's lonely out here for me as a trans woman like like you guys you guys you know should talk to one another more and some guys are going to be offended some guys are going to say you want me to be more like a woman but i think the more rational way to look at it is maybe a little bit more connection between us men would make living life a little bit easier and if that if that helps i'm not saying we all got to break down to each other and cry and act like girls 
But, you know, communication. Communication is invaluable, especially in life, when it comes to the toughness of life. Saying, yo, like, it's lonely out here for me as a trans woman, like, like, you guys, you guys, you know, should talk to one another more. And some guys are going to be offended. Some guys are going to say, you want me to be more like a woman. But I think the more rational way to look at it is maybe a little bit more connection between us men would make living life a little bit easier. And if that, if that helps, I'm not saying we all got to break down to each other and cry and act like girls. But, you know, communication, communication is invaluable, especially in life when it comes to the toughness of life. So let's see what the comments have to say. This chick says, I'm a mom of a boy and I want so much for him to have close friendships with other boys and to not be so harmed by the patriarchy. What is the patriarchy, bro? Like, like, what are we talking about? You know what's crazy? It's like a lot of these chicks that sit there and talk about, I don't want my son to be a part of the patriarchy. Da, 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 da. These same chicks, if you cry in front of them, they no longer find you attractive. These chicks that sit there and talk about how they hate patriarchy and oh my God, patriarchy, oh my God. These same chicks, bro, cry in front of them, it's over. They making fun of you in group chats. They don't, they're, they're turned off by you now. Like it's about high time we stop hiding behind. Cause see, so many people, so many of these like radical feminists and like super like hard leftist chicks love to hide behind the blanket of patriarchy. But the reality is like men's emotional, like lack of emotional vulnerability doesn't just stem from the patriarchy. It's also because we as human beings for some reason just don't care about men's emotions. And women, sorry to say this, but y'all ain't special. Y'all are a part of that too. You think all these men on social media talking about how hard it is for them to be vulnerable, I'm just supposed to sit there and believe that that's cap? I'm just supposed to sit there and believe that all these dudes lying about being vulnerable, that's just cap. All of them are just lying. All these dudes are talking about how they, they cry in front of their girlfriend and she made fun of them or she was it, the relationship was never the same or she broke up with them. I'm just supposed to believe all those guys are lying. Stop. You know, part of the reason why men aren't vulnerable is because we can't be vulnerable with each other and we can't be vulnerable with women. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Male vulnerability is just not respected on a species-wide level. And we need to come together as a society to talk about it. But painting the broad... Because see, these radical leftists paint it with the broad brush of the patriarchy. You know that, that, that episode of SpongeBob? Imagination. This is these, these, these chicks patriarchy that's just blame everything on patriarchy you want to know why they do that because they want they don't want to have to bear any social responsibility for bad things that happen to men oh well the reason why men struggle so hard emotionally is because of the patriarchy cap cap it's just cap it's just not true that's not the reason why men struggle so much it's not because of the patriarchy it's not some social system bogging men down there are just realities of social interaction and human interaction that we have not confronted and admitted yet as a society that causes it but it's not some system put in place by some like it's not a, it's 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 just not real it's just not the case and chicks have a hard time accepting the truth that like bro women are just as responsible for the page the patriarchy as men y'all don't want emotionally vulnerable dudes crying on tiktok no you don't and you can lie and say that you do but all these dudes on social media anecdotal i know but i'm still gonna give it the benefit of the doubt all these dudes on social media crying about their girls leaving them after crying or never seeing them the same way ever again they're just supposed to be liars the the, the sooner we all admit that we just as a collective as a society don't take men's emotions seriously the sooner we can solve the problem but as long as we keep paint, painting these issues with the broad brush of the patriarchy we're never gonna get anywhere so let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.